What's going on guys, my name is Pedrotsky and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can install plugins on your CS2 dedicated server. Now everything I mentioned in this video I'll leave a link in the description and if you get stuck at any stage just leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. So the first thing we're going to need is Metamod Source. So if we just go over to the left hand side of that website and click Dev Builds and then just select Windows or Linux depending on what server you have. So I'm using Linux so Click that, and we'll let that downloaded. And then the next thing we need is Counter-Strike Sharp. Now Counter-Strike Sharp is basically the source mod replacement for Counter-Strike 2. So all we need to do is on the right hand side here, click releases. And then we need to grab the Counter-Strike Sharp with runtime build. So you'll see there's one here for Windows, one here for Linux. So I'm gonna grab the one for Linux. And then all we need to do is come back to our server. So now I'm going to log in to my server with uh, FTP. Now, the, the, what depending on who your server's with, this is gonna be different, but for me, I'm just gonna be using a program called FileZilla to upload uh, files to my server. So I'll click on SFTP details and I'll just copy these. Now I've logged into the server, I'm going to navigate to the game directory. So game. And then CSGO. And then you'll know you're in the right file uh, when, or right folder, sorry, when you see all these uh, like pack one files, maps folder, config, etc. So now we need to extract the meta mod first. So I'm going to extract this. And then as you see here, it's given us an add-ons folder. So add-ons is basically where Counter-Strike Sharp and meta mod are going to be. And we just need to copy that into the game root directory. So this here is called the root directory. So let me drag that in there now. Okay, so now that that folder's uploaded, you'll see here we have an add-ons directory here. And if we go into that, we will see we've got metamod folders, but we still need to edit one more file. So if we come down here, we'll see gameinfo.gi. So I'm just going to edit that. And we'll just open it in Notepad. And then you'll see here um, underneath game violence, we want to add another line. And then in the description, I've, uh, I've got this in there. We just need to add this line in. So it looks like this. So we're just adding a, a folder, uh, basically a path to the metamod folder. So then we save that. And then we want to write the changes back to the server. So we click yes. And now Metamod should be installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here and restart. So I'm just restarting my server. And then we're just going to check Metamod is installed. So I'm just going to type Meta. And then as you can see here, it's brought up this uh, usage. So it's basically just, if this comes up, it means that Metamod is installed. Otherwise it would say something like unknown command. If it says unknown command, just go back and double check the game info.gi and make sure you've added the correct line and double check that add-ons is in the correct location as well. So now we need to install Counter-Strike Sharp. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna extract that folder. Okay, now as you see, we've also got another add-ons directory. And then inside of it, it says Counter-Strike Sharp and Metamod. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to copy that straight into the root directory or the game root directory. So I'll drag that in. Now that Counter-Strike Sharp has finished copying over, let's go back to our server and I'm just going to restart it.
And now if we type meta list, we now see Counter-Strike Sharp is running. And if we type CSS underscore plugins list, this is gonna show us the current running Counter-Strike Sharp plugins, which there's none. So let's install the plugin now. So I'll link this website. This is actually my website here. And I've got a bunch of uh, different plugins on here and you can just search through exactly what you need. So I'm just gonna grab uh, one of these. So let me just get the workshop default map plugin. And all of these are basically the same as getting the Counter-Strike Sharp. So we just go over to releases and then we download the package. Then let's extract that. So what's different about Counter-Strike Sharp versus uh, like Source Mod is you need to copy over the entire folder. You don't copy over the plugins inside. So the plugins inside need to match the folder name. So to install a Counter-Strike Sharp plugin, we go to Add-ons, Counter-Strike Sharp, Plugins, and then we just drag the entire folder in. So we'll let that upload. Now, Counter-Strike Sharp also supports uh, hot loading of plugins. So when a plugin is copied to the server, it would normally load up, but I've found that to be quite hit and miss. So as a rule of thumb, just restart your server after every plugin that you install. It's generally just more reliable. So we've restarted the server now. And if we type CSS plugins list, we can see here that we've got one plugin loaded, the workshop collection default map. So that's pretty much it. You just go and get the plugins that you want from here. Um, and then you just copy them all over into that plugins directory. So the biggest thing to remember is that the add-ons folder is in the root directory of the game. So, we, oh, sorry, slash game slash CSGO. So this is called the game root folder. So add-ons, and make sure everything is inside of that. So I hope this helps you get your server modified. If you get stuck, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. But it's pretty straightforward. It's literally just copying over those files and then editing your game info.gi file. All right, thanks for watching guys. And just, if you like this video, just leave me a like or a comment or even subscribe. So thanks for watching.